Bob, Bob Thompson uh, to our roster today. Um, has a lot of experience. We love the defense he plays um, in the outfield. He's had a nice camp for us. He's making strides offensively that um, our hitting coaches are, are liking that we're all seeing. So it would be great to have Bobo um, as part of our team. And uh, that was the move we made today. The, the Matt McLean news, um, I assume that's a long, long, longer than you had hoped um, that he's going to be out. I don't know if I said that correctly. Yeah. He's out longer than you would have hoped is kind of the diagnosis now. Um, I don't know. I, I, I know what you know. I know what was released. And as far as the, the exact progression, that, that hasn't. I have not been informed of that yet. Um, I think that may take some time uh, before we we see what that looks like. Bottom line is Matt has a long career ahead of him. He's going to come back, um, and and that's the focus. Whenever that is, um, we're all looking forward to that. I know Matt is already um, just messaging back and forth with him. He already has the right outlook on this. So I'm very hopeful we get him back this season. And this is what being a team is all about. Um, it's an opportunity for other guys to step up. And then when we do get Matt back, um, of course, he makes us a better team. There's no question. So we're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, you know, we love what we have here and, um, you know, the players we have to, to make up for, the, for that loss. So um, we knew that this was going to, you know, it's going to be a challenge for Matt. but. Uh, it sounded like everything went well, well, and we'll have to get more inf information as far as the, as the exact date. But I know he's going to be motivated to get back as quick as he, we, he can. He's young. You know, the human body is amazing, so we'll, we'll, we're very hopeful to get him back this season. Were you uh, caught off guard at all when you found out it was like cartilage and labrum repair? I don't know that I know exactly what that that means. Honestly, I, I knew that he was having surgery for a reason and, um, you know, that, that they wouldn't be doing it if, if there wasn't something significant enough. So I, I don't know the, if the terminology means a whole lot to me. Um, I'm just kind of waiting to see what the, uh, the progression is going to be like. And like I said, I'm hopeful that that'll put him back this season. The well, same doctor that did the second opinion do the surgery? Yes. Yes. Will he come back and be around and, and he'll, at some point, he'll start doing more rehab? Or what kind of was next for that? Team? Yeah, I, I mean, this, I, I don't know. I, I, he's going to be around us for sure. Um, there may be a time that he's in Arizona, um, and then there'll definitely be a time when he's playing real games in the, in the minor leagues somewhere, working his way back to get here. Absolutely. How, how fortunate do you consider yourself that you have a guy like Jonathan who can uh, has done that at an all-star caliber rookie of the year level before played that position, he can step in and, and just take that spot there. Yeah, I mean, Jonathan was already going to be an everyday player for us. Um, but yeah, he's going to play more second base now. So yeah, it's where the depth comes in. I mean, we, we talk about it as a team all the time. It's We see it as 26 plus players are going to, um, that's what this is all about. And to get through October, it's going to take every bit of 26 plus, and you know, we're, we're already seeing it. So we're, we're, we've been challenged um, with losing a couple key guys here early, and um, but we're set up to be able to, to handle this. Would you get a timeline for how long Williamson is going to be out of action? No, we're still... We're still taking that one day, day to day. Um, you know, totally different situation. Obviously, it's not surgery, it's not being discussed or anything like that. It's more of just letting, letting the uh, the soreness kind of go away and then uh, building him up. So, um, no new information on the timeline there. David, back to Matt. Um, obviously, injuries part of the game happen all the time throughout the season, but. With the anticipation to build up for this team this year, is, is an injury so close to opening day like Matt just make it a little bit more deflating to have to kind of digest that and deal with that? So I would answer that in two separate ways. Like everyone's health and their success and their careers mean a 
ton to to me, to the to the players in our clubhouse, to our staff, our organization. Like we feel for Matt to have to go through this. A lot of really good players go through. All, almost all good players go through some sort of significant injury in their career. So I, we know he's going to come back. But as far as deflating, it's deflating for Matt. And yes, he's a big part of our team. But no, we don't we don't see it as like deflating to our season. You know, like there's just, that's not a choice. You can't see it that way. If um, if you're, you're set out to, to do what we're set out to accomplish, like it's just no way to, to see it. So we we choose to not see it that way. Did you have a message to the team heading into the season? Uh, yeah, I mean, we talked for a long time today. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even know where to start. <laughs> probably the, probably too long, <laughs> but I had a lot of things to say. Um, but it's it's easy and it's an honor to speak to this team because it's uh, kind of just a, a mirror reflecting back what they all already believe in and do and who, who, who we are as a team. And, um, but yeah, it's always an opportunity to, to uh, you know, just to all be on the same page before you go into, uh, you know, into what I mean, we work all year, all spring, all you know, for this. This is this is what we do it for. So it was, it was good. It was, uh, like I said, an honor to, to do it, and um, I feel like we we are on the same page, and, um, you know, very very connected as a team. Opening day is a holiday here in the city. Obviously, it's holiday for baseball fans. How excited are you and the guys? Do you, do you feel that you feel a little buzz, a little happiness, extra smile? Yeah, I mean, being from being from here, I understand. Our players understand. Tomorrow's a, in one respect just another another game for us, but it's okay to, for it to feel special. You know, I mean, it's we know it's a big day here. Um, there's a lot to be grateful for. Um, you know, our, our players. Even the players that are from here or haven't even played here like understand the importance of that and are, are very grateful to be a part of this organization and play in front of our fans for the first time. And, um, it's very meaningful. So, um, you know, it's a, our job to keep it in perspective and it is just one game, but like it is a, a chance to kind of reflect on, wow, you know, like we're very grateful for being in this position and um, you know, to bring out the best in who we are as a team. I know you talked about it, but what did you like about your team's performance in spring training and, and what do you like about them coming in? There? Yeah, we, we accomplished everything we set out to accomplish. We had our, our challenges at, at the end for sure. Um, but, you know, it's a test. It's always a test. And I felt like, uh, or I know, like our our team sees it that way. We have to re respond the right way. So we are able to do that and uh, it's not going to get any easier. I mean, every, that's what this season is. It's a great challenge. And um, so what, what we did in spring training was prepare ourselves for that, for 100, 162 games and, and beyond. Ellie De La Cruz just did his entire press conference in English for, I think, the first time. Um, do you have a conversation? Because in baseball, if English isn't your first language, there's a divide of how many guys actually try to take it seriously, and clearly he is. Have you noticed why that's so important to him? I mean, he's just, he's incredibly thoughtful. He's humble. He, he's the way he listens and, and learns. And um, I mean, it's amazing. I, I, I can't relate to that I, I can't add like the courage that that takes and um, you know just respect that he has I, I it's just beyond anything I've like had to deal with you know, it's like uh, you know I, I it's it, it's impressive and um, we know that about LA but for other people to see that um, it's it's nice because I, I want everyone to see you know everything I know about our players and for Ellie that's that's a good example of who he is. He also exudes a lot of confidence David and he just told us that he has no doubt in his mind that this team is capable of great things. How does that how do you think that translates to the rest of his teammates? Yeah I, it's um, it's there is that belief in our clubhouse and 
starts with trusting that, like trusting who we are, trusting that we're good enough, and going out and, and doing that. Like it's, there's no doubt in anyone's mind that we have what it takes. We have the challenge ahead of us of, of doing um, on an everyday basis what we need to do to make that happen. But as far as like who we have in the clubhouse, the amount of talent we have, like we have it. Um, so that trust and believing in that and, and, and just allowing that to come out and, and show in the way we play is really important. So I don't, I think it's good to talk about it. You know, I think it's, it's important. Our players aren't going to say it if they don't believe it. You know, I'm not going to say it if I don't believe it. So obviously now's the time to go out and do it. Was that part of your message to the team where you, do you not even have to say that? Some of that. Yeah. I mean, I don't, yeah. Some, some, a lot of that, but um, yeah. One yeah, or two more. Night before opening day, any you, when you try to wind down and go to sleep the night before opening day, any different feel for you? Do you do you have trouble going to sleep the night before, or is it just another? Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually feel like in a lot of ways, like I'll maybe sleep better. Like all the preparation, all the. You know, everything we've done for the last, not only spring training, but really since the last game of last season, you start immediately thinking about this day and what we have ahead of us. So it's, okay, now we get to do what we love to do. Of course, I love the process along the way, but like, this is what it's all about, you know, and it's, it's the game. So we're, in, in some ways, it's most natural to all of us. On Monday, you and some players spoke about camaraderie and how this clubhouse is really together. Tyler Stevenson accredited a lot of it to you being giving guys the freedom to be themselves and be genuine. Where, where did you learn that leadership style from? Oh, I, I um, well, I don't know. I, I mean, I've had a lot of great people I've been around my whole life. I'm very, very fortunate. I don't know if. Um, I don't even know where to begin, but, but I would say that it's easy to do with a team that um, I'm comfortable saying being yourself. Part of that is the amount of work and the effort and how much they care about being the best that they can be. And then, of course, playing together and, and playing hard every day. I mean, it kind of comes down to those three things. It's so simple, but it's who our team is. And it's the best playing that way, you know, when, when you really have that. Not just say it when you actually really have it in the clubhouse, and we do. So it's pretty simple when you know you have players that uh, that's who they are. Okay. Thanks, Thanks, David. Thank you. Thank you.